Yes, uh, there is a proposal that uh, in every barangay we'll be creating a sports club. And when I was a barangay kagawan, I can remember that Administrative Board of the Pulong Barangay created the Barangay Sports Council. Now, a, as part of the ambit of empower, empowering the youth of our uh, agenda for this current administration, the sports would be another venue for the youth. So what, would, what we would like to do is that in every barangay, if uh, it's possible, we would create a sports club. This would in turn be a part of the recruitment process or the, the pooling process for Actin sa Baguio City. After creating yung mga uh, sports club natin, we would uh, launch a citywide uh, sporting event including football yeah, and then other sporting events. So, uh, also I was tasked by our Vice Mayor to finalize the comprehensive sports code for Baguio City. Uh, it is actually a very uh, big uh, and difficult task because it is a comprehensive code. It's a code. All existing sports code of Baguio City and amendments as uh, gathered before during our public consultation, ipagsasama-sama mo natin. Included po doon sa ating sports code is the creation and institutionalization of a sports club through the Bad Barangay Sports Council. So, doon na po, from the grassroots level, magkukuha na po tayo ng mga potential na atleta ng Baguio and i-improve po natin sila hanggang maging city athletes that who can represent the city in different national and international sporting events. So, kasama po yan sa ginagawa po natin ordinansa authored also by co-author of course of the whole of the whole city council as initiated by our vice mayor so yun yung isa po nating uh, nais gawin kasama po ng ating uh, city officials so yun po ang ating peace cup na tatawagin magkakaroon po tayo ng uh, city wide na sporting event na tatawag po ay sports uh, peace cup para po sa ating city of Baguio and also, if I may, I would like to include two other things that I would uh, share to everyone. Uh, I would like to remind every Pulong Barangay that the, our office, we issued a memorandum or an advice to an SK chairperson that they are mandated to attend our uh, uh, program tomorrow at uh, the session hall, 1 o'clock. This is in partnership with uh, our Gawat Kalinga. So tomorrow po ito, December 7, they are required to attend. Uh, I just would like to remind them, dahil na-inform na, na po natin sila, last week pa, they are uh, now required to attend uh, this program dahil kasama po natin ang Gawad Kalinga na as an institutional, uh, as uh, an initiative of our city mayor with our youth. So kasama po yan sa ating programa para sa kabataan from the city government. And finally po, in terms of the, para the SK budget for 2020, the DILG gave us an advisory that we are only to submit the SK budget for 2020 until the last working day of December 2019. I believe that is December 27. Right? December 27. Now they are already submitting their proposals to the city budget office. What is being required about by the budget office the barangay should uh, enact an appropriation ordinance for the SK. Question. It's just to clarify also. Pwede bang maunang mag-submit ng budget ng SK kahit walang budget ng barangay? Yes. That is already the instruction from us, for us from the city budget office and from the ILG. Now please, uh, just also to make things clear, hindi po namin inuunahan ng barangay mag-una ang ma-approve ng budget. Ito po ay alinsunod lang po sa ibinigay na abiso ng DILG sa amin. Kaya yung mga SK po ninyo, nagsasubmit na ho sa budget office. Do not question po kung bakit po sila nagsubmit. Kasi we're just complying with the advisory and instruction of the city director. If you have questions po, you can ask uh, the city director and uh, for clarification, you can also visit the city budget office. But on my part, uh, I'm already uh, 
emphasizing to everybody, to our punong barangays, that our SKs are already allowed to submit their SK budget for 2020. Ayun po. If the SK would not submit that on in due time, on December 27, your barangay will not be using any fund for the youth for the whole 2020. So again, those lang po, uh, yun lang po ang gusto mong i-share. Number one is the Peace Cup. Second is the uh, Gawad Kaliga uh, Forum for Tomorrow. And third is the SK Budget 2020. Please refrain from telling any bad words about our SK. I have been receiving complaints that you are telling and some of the barangay kagawans are saying na bakit ka nauuna, hindi ka makapagantay. Ayun ang sinasabi sa kanila. Sana po, kung meron po mga anon, maiklarify po natin as early as now, na hindi po kami ay gumagawa ng seriling polisiya. Ito po ay nanggaling na sa DILG. So yun po, just to clarify, may nare-receive po kami ganon. At sana wag po natin gawin yun. If you need to clarify things, you can always visit the office of the DILG, City Project Office, and our office. Tama ko ba? Clarify doon po tayo sa SK Budget for 2020. Kung may concern lang po, o DILG po ang magbibigay sa atin. Yes, wala ka. Uh, good afternoon to everybody. Yung bang SK, pwede mong mag-submit ng budget without a quorum? No. Okay. That's it, the problem. That is the problem. Most of the DHSK now they have done by quorum because they like Kagawan. Because uh, according to the DLD, there will be a special election for the Kagawan. Yes, Cap, uh, just to clarify, we have a record of those barangays na walang quorum. So we are already aware of those barangays na hindi pwede magsabit ng budget. Okay, okay thank you. Yes. So we are already aware, Cap, of the barangays na walang quorum kasi ko lang na SK. They would not be given the go signal to finalize and even enact their budget for 2020. Thank you. Sir, yes, I have a question. Yes, ma'am. My SK chairman just uh, wrote a, a letter of resignation. So I have only five left uh, agawans. What should I do? Thank you, sir. Uh, yes, ma'am. I already received a copy of the resignation of. Uh, uh, SK Chair of Forest Olympic. It was actually uh, addressed to our city mayor and the city mayor approved the resignation of our SK Chair. Now what we're going to do, the number one SK Chair with the highest votes during the previous elections of the SK would assume the office of SK Chair. How can we determine if there is a quorum? There should be four, minimum of four SK Kagawad and one SK Chairperson. Also, to include one SK secretary and one SK treasurer, of which are not receiving any, any, amount, any compensation. Wala po sila marireceive na any compensation from be, for being an SK kagawad treasurer and secretary. Yun ang problema. That's why marami po ang nagkulang ng toro na sinasabi po ni Kap, na ubusan sila ng quorum dahil nag-resign, wala silang compensation. Kaya nga po, uh, natutuwa po kami, kasama po ang barangay ng SK, that uh, our congressman already filed the bill for the Magna Carta of our barangay officials, including our SK officials. Thank you po. Uh, if you have other questions, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be glad to uh, answer them. Thank you po. Thank you, Councilor. One final concern from the Congressman before we hear the Mayor. 